Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today. We've had major hail, a climate update, electro flaring, merging galactic nuclei, and a prison star. We'll get started, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. You might have seen the moon eclipse the SDO satellite in the opening, and you'll see it again here. On the sphere itself, we see the massive coronal hole facing Earth today. Solar wind from it is still a few days from Earth, but the end of the previous stream sort of ran the telemetry back up slightly overnight. Magnetic field direction in the plasma stream went a bit haywire. Minor instability event early this morning, nothing major. But when the solar wind arrives from that monster, geomagnetic storms at low to mid level are expected. Until then, magnetic connection has been made and the seismic warning is rising fast. Let's go to the weather where the hailstorm that just pounded Australia was insane. Once or twice a year you see a photo of 4 inch hailstones but this appeared to be an entire event full of them. Remember that as cosmic rays rise the hail will get much worse. Let's get a broader view. U.S. climate report for October is out. Not so hot. Unless you look at the desert southwest precipitation, did feel like a jungle month here in the highlands. But the top story by far once again is that the nighttime minimum temperatures are quite moderate, while the daily maximum temperatures have been lacking in a major way. The heat has been in those minimum marks for years now. Up next, we have an amazing experiment that successfully created solar wind-like conditions in the lab. Now while this is cool, the kicker came in how they were finally able to reproduce a solar flare. Electric surge, sent through wiring, exploding the wires and causing a plume of charged material to be expelled. When the sun does it, we call that a CME. Hopefully you remember the hilarity of that merging black hole model. Those would be active nuclei for electric and plasma universe folks listening in. And they just decided not to model and ignore the central interaction zone. Well. They better get better than that very fast. They found a number of ways they can help. Numerous candidates have been spotted at galactic centers where it appears there is not one but at least two monsters dancing in the fire. The goal is to finally witness a merger, and when that happens, the math should give away the proper cosmology of our universe. How about we come back to Earth for just a moment, find the Gose satellite's latest, tectonic surveying revealing past continents, the totality of the global fault and rift system, and a new look at the combined continent called Antarctica. Lastly here, folks, we heard yesterday about a recycling galaxy where the material can't escape. Well, what about the stellar level? Yep, they have found one of those too. They say it's a white dwarf, the kind of star that will remain after our sun blows someday in the future. And what's amazing is they say the material around it is trapped by an ultra-powerful magnetic field which not only incarcerates the plasma, but continually heats it up in the electromagnetic system. Folks, one of the best ways to support this free daily program is our books. We've got two kids' books, our layman's textbook on the sun, weather, earthquakes, health, and more. Don't forget that everyone registered for our conference by November 19th is entered to win all four nights of their stay, free at the venue hotel. Really want to shake your hand out in the desert. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.